When ethical hackers find themselves inside of an Active Directory environment, there are a couple tricks that they can use to gain more access and compromise different computers or user accounts. One of those tricks is called ASREP roasting, or taking advantage of misconfigurations with the Kerberos service. If you haven't heard of it before, the Kerberos authentication protocol offers access to things by granting tickets. If a user account were requesting a service ticket, they would need to provide and present their own ticket, what's called a ticket-granting ticket. Accounts can get this ticket-granting ticket with the step in the process called pre-authentication. But the thing is, some programs and applications don't have support for this pre-authentication method, so some user accounts might have that disabled. If pre-authentication is disabled or not required, then anyone can request from the domain controller on behalf of that user. With that, they would receive what's called an ASREP message, which contains data that could uncover that user's password. But that's enough talk, let's try it out. Now, I've set up a Snap Labs environment for me to easily work within an Active Directory domain, and I'm logged into the domain controller as the domain admin. This is just to create a playground for us, so I'm going to create a new user, give him a mediocre password, and ensure that this account does not use Kerberos pre-authentication. Now, here's the thing. If we put our hacker hat on and act as the adversary, and we want to do this ASREP roasting attack, well, we can find ourselves in one of two scenarios. Scenario one, say that you've already gained access to a domain user. You have compromised one account and you have access to domain information. With that access, you can literally just ask the domain controller what accounts are ASREP roastable. Tell me the names of which users that do not have Kerberos pre-authentication enabled. Now scenario two, say you have not gained access to a domain user. In that case, you can't just ask the domain controller what accounts are vulnerable. Say you don't know the username, so you would just need to guess or brute force over and over again to try and figure out what user accounts are in the domain. But you can still try to ASREP roast once you've found a valid username. Now with both of these scenarios in mind, considering scenario two, you don't need to have domain access to be able to perform this attack. So even if you're just starting an Active Directory penetration test, this is a worthwhile starting point and something to try. So let's do the demo. Let's begin with the perspective of scenario one, where we have access to a domain user. Say that I am internal and on a Windows computer, and now I wanna use some other ethical hacking tools so we could perform this ASREP roast attack. I am an administrator on this computer, so I'll just open up a high privilege PowerShell prompt and I will disable the antivirus Windows Defender. Then I'll pull down a tool called PowerView and another one called Rubius. Check it out, if I run this command with PowerView, we can ask the domain controller which users don't have Kerberos pre-authentication enabled. And with that output, we will know which accounts we could go ahead and ASREP roast. Here's the syntax, get tac domain user space tac pre-auth not required. And there we go, we see our user Alex, but if this were in any other environment with any other accounts, that would list those two. Now, super quick, before we go do the real ASREP roasting attack, I wanted to share with you another incredible resource if you, especially, want to learn more about these Active Directory environments and Active Directory attacks. And even beyond that, maybe you want to get into some cloud hacking with Azure Active Directory. There is some incredible and fantastic education, training, and resources here. You should check out Altered Security. The best way to learn cybersecurity is through hands-on and practical exercises and having a challenge, something to prove your competency and merit so the industry knows you're a professional. From the brains behind Nishang and so many other offensive tools, Nikhil Matal and team brings you Altered Security with affordable, easy to access, and stable cybersecurity training labs. Get certified in on-premise red teaming Active Directory exploitation with their well-known training for CRTP, the Certified Red team professional. You can hack Active Directory certificate services with their CESP exam or level up to become an expert and master with CRTE and CRTM. Tired of on-premise instances? Tackle the cloud with Azure Red Teaming courses like CARTP and CAWASP. 
On top of that, a number of these trainings are also available as live online training boot camps. Altered Security offers some of the most recognizable certifications and top tier training in the industry. You can get started learning and sharpening your security skills with my link below in the video description. jh.live slash altered security. Huge thanks to Altered Security for sponsoring this video. And with that, it is finally time to run our as rep roast attack. And this is super easy to do with the tool Rubius. Seriously, all we need to do is run dot slash rubius.exe space as rep roast. Then it just pops out the special secret that we can use. We can use this data to try and crack Alex's password. But before we do that, let's take a look at scenario two and see how we would approach this if we didn't know the usernames, we didn't know about Alex, or even the fact that they were a vulnerable account. And we can use this as an opportunity to showcase ASREP roasting from a Linux machine. I'll open up a terminal in my Kali Linux virtual machine and I'll enter the command impacket hyphen get np users space tack request. This will use the impacket suite of tools or that awesome bundle and whole collection of penetration testing Python scripts. We've showcased that in other videos, but in this case, we'll use it to perform the ASREP roasting attack. Now, we will need to supply the domain controller's IP address or host name, so Impacket knows where to go request this all from. We'll add the arguments here, tack DC, tack IP, and then space the IP address of our domain controller. And we'll need to be sure to add the target or the domain that we're actually looking into, so we can put that in strings here, just a single quote, and snap labs is the domain, and let me add a trailing forward slash so it knows this is the domain. Now, if we run this, this will fail. It'll error out and it won't give us anything worthwhile or interesting. But remember, this is scenario two, where say we don't know the names of the user accounts within the domain and we're not in the domain or even have the ability to access and ask the domain controller who are the vulnerable accounts. We need to guess or just try to brute force different usernames. Thankfully, we can do this with our impacket tool, but it's not ideal. Obviously, just requesting information from the domain controller over and over and over again isn't the best case scenario. But if we did provide a list of usernames, then it would try it. So here, I will use the names.txt word list file within Kali Linux so we have a ton of just regular English first names. Now, of course, an organization might have a different naming convention for their user accounts. They might do first initial and then their last name or just a couple letters here and there. So if you can track that down, any other profiling you can do on the target environment and domain is a good thing. But let's add a tack users file argument to our impacket command. Now, when I hit enter, you'll see it's just trying one username and then another over and over and over again. You can see the client not found in the Kerberos database error, that that means, hey, the user doesn't exist. That's an incorrect username. We can let this run for a little bit. We know that we should see our Alex user appear in that user list, but we have to be a little bit careful. Impacket will just kind of keep on cruising. It'll keep iterating and going through the list of usernames. So even if we had a successful hit and we had a good working as rep roast, we have to be able to make sure that we see it and it doesn't get lost in all the output. And you could filter the output with grep or whatever, but hey, it looks like we got a hit. And now we know how to do this with Impacket. It is super easy. Impacket makes things nice and easy because it's all already installed and default on Kali Linux. But if you need to use something else, there are some other resources online and there's another tool out on GitHub that you could do as rep roasting with just as well and plenty of others. But now we can go ahead and try to crack the Alex user's account password. We can use tools like Hashcat or John the Ripper and use a dictionary word list file like rockyou.txt. I'll go ahead and use John the Ripper, but we'll probably need to add some rules so that we can sort of munge and manipulate the passwords that it's trying against. We could just add capitalization or numbers and special characters. It will make our search take longer, but we can at least get through more passwords. So we'll put the results from either Rubius or Impacket into its own separate file. Then we can just run John the Ripper, supply our word list, supply our rules file, and finally supply this hash file that we're trying to crack against. Soon enough, if you give it a little bit, it finds the password. Looks like Alex had a pretty mediocre password of Star Wars 12. Cool. And with that, we have compromised that account and could now log in as Alex. 
And that's it! ASRAP Roasting is super streamlined, all thanks to tools like Rubius, Impacket, and plenty of others. So if you find yourself inside of an Active Directory environment, it's worthwhile just trying it and seeing, hey, can you find any vulnerable accounts? Hey, if you really enjoyed this and you want to learn a little bit more about different Active Directory attacks or different penetration testing techniques, please, seriously, take a look at Altered Security. I genuinely recommend them to just about every org that I know that's wanting to get into penetration testing and get more into Active Directory or Azure Active Directory environments. So seriously, phenomenal education there. Link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do those YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.